north, south, east, west, the deal, milk gang. Y'all already know how it's going to go. And to the ones on their first time log in, welcome to It's Milk TV. Now, come on. Oh, look, a big percentage of you guys, I ain't pointing or singling no individual out. But a lot of y'all are unsubscribed recurring viewers. Now, I don't want you to be one of those for too long because they end up in the Gilligan zone. So go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like button and let's get it on. So I came across this video of this OG member from the Durock community. And he was telling a story about rapper O3 Greedo from Watts, California. Now, this story takes place in the Los Angeles County Jail, the 5,000 flow. Now, this man from the Durock community, I guess his name is Blue Rag. So Blue Rag said that he was in the county jail on the 5,000 flow. And I guess Greedy, O3 Greedo, and another great was already in, on the 5,000 flow in this, this specific dorm that he was in. And a bounty hunter came in who he had already heard about named Scarface. Now, when he came in there, he came in there banging on people. Sup, blood, where you from? On bounty hunters. Sup, blood? Came in there banging on people. Now, at that time, I'm pretty sure this is years ago. Well, it's still right now, but bounty hunters and grapes, they don't get along. So, you know, he said that the bounty hunter pushed up, and when he heard him say, oh, where, where you from? And he said one of them from grape was like, I'm from Grape Tree Watts. You know, he said this dude kind of big and stuff. Short dude, but kind of big. And he said the other one, Greedy, really just sat there and said, oh, I'm from Grape Street. So, you know, he said the uh, bounty hunter told him, I need a fade from both of y'all right now. And I want the fade from the big one first. So he said they squabbled. And, man, it, it just didn't. It, it wasn't looking good for O3, man. He said the other dude from Grape Street, I guess, had to, like, Make 03 Greedo take the fade, but we about to go. We gonna log in and see what he had to say. Come on. But I know I'm standing right here. J-Bone from Villain standing right there. Man, here comes the Greedy. He's like, Greedy, get up eating nothing. Grape Tree, nigga, get up in there, nigga. Get up in there, nigga. Grape Street, nigga. Tell him, yo, nigga, get in there. Yo, nigga, get in there. Nigga, spook, nigga, sure. Boom, bing. Put him to bed. Boom. Put him down. And we put him down, nigga. Uh, that's why he said, yeah, nigga. I got knocked the fuck out like Ronda Rossi, nigga. Now, bam, he put him down. That nigga wake no, up. No, I don't think that's oh, what he was talking about. He bleeding out the, like, right here in the nose, mouth, every he, he get up. <sighs> we like, nah, get that nigga. Like, juking by niggas, nigga, like, getting up out of there. We like, nah, nigga, you tripping? Hell no. That run the police already hitting, you know what I mean? Because it was already, you know what I mean? Everybody looking and it's getting loud. It's already, this is the second phase. So now the police walking in. Why the police coming? This nigga running out the door, bro. Oh, no. no. I ain't never catching a case over this shit. This is how I never forget this shit, man. This shit was crazy. This you know, running out the motherfucking dorm, man. He running out the motherfucking dorm and uh, he right into the police and they even trying to, what are you doing? He like, no, he breaking through the police, bro. And so they gaffled him up, take him, and they knew it. They were like, what the fuck happened to him? Why he that scared? They come back in the dorm, bro. They told that motherfucker. Oh, he rolled it up. That was flow go crazy in L.A. County. So, man, this nigga, weird. Who is that? And everybody on old boy. Niggas like, who is this nigga, man? Oh, that's a greedy and shit from great. The name greedy and shit. Like, nah, what? Like, what? And y'all yeah, don't know who greedy is. That's 03 Greedo, man. The rapper nigga, man. Now, about time a gangbanger hit the county jail, shouldn't none of his homies have to force him to do what he's supposed to do they shouldn't force him or have to like you you know motivate him into taking the fade now he said that oh three greedo took the fade okay but when he took the fade he got put on his back pockets and when he jumped up he just like went kind of like wild and made his exit he made a beeline straight to the door like he ran to the door and he said that the police was already kind of like on the scene. Their antennas was a little raised because it was a little noisy. People probably looking a certain type of way and he ran to that door. So if they wasn't coming and when he got to that door, what was he going to do? Was he going to start screaming and saying, hey, deputy man down like help. Your homie shouldn't have to motivate you and push you to catch no fade, bro. That comes with the job. That comes with the territory. So him 
not catching the fade, really, but then catching the fade, getting put on his back pockets, and then making a break to the dough, that's what you would call rolling it up. That's like a J-Cat move. And, and you know, O3 Greedo, he portrays this image like he just this savage, tough goon. He calls himself the Wolf of Gray Street. Now, I'm not, you know, at first I'm like, uh, now, I would say he probably looks like a wolf and he claims Grape Street. So that's why he could call himself the Wolf of Grape Street. But the actions that I'm seeing and the stuff that coming out on him ain't nothing giving wolf vibes about this dude. He cannot be the wolf of no street, really. I tell y'all, like, I didn't seen people go to this county jail. I didn't heard stories. I didn't witness it where people go to this county jail. Maybe like alleged, like they be with the business on the streets, but they go to the county jail and end their whole career off some shit like this because they didn't want to fight. They had to get pushed to fight. Like, bro, that don't look good. Some people would press to get him put off for some shit like that. You know, I just don't see no reason for him to get on YouTube and really make up this lie. And he's saying he this member from Do Rock, that community. And, and, you know, he online and he know O3 is a big rapper from a community. And um, I don't think he would get on here and lie, but you do got to take everything with a grain of salt. But I posted this on my Instagram before I even reacted to it. I posted it on Instagram because, you know, I cover media stories. And it was a few comments that was saying, like, we heard of this or, you know, we we know about this already. We heard about this in other dorms. So, you know, it's sounding a little true. And this is the case. If it's the case, man, that situation was handled boo-boo by O3 Greedo. Like, he break the scale. He get a negative 11.2 on the Gilligan scale right now, bro. He got to, he need to speak about this. I mean, I know you ain't got to address everything, but this is wild when you got this type of reputation that's why you shouldn't have went at tupac and you was trying to pick on j cole and now everything then tumbled down on you bro from the snitch allegations the paperwork surfacing your homies going on no jumper sitting down with adam 22 saying you they age but you didn't grow up with them yeah man this shit is wild bro i mean how many strikes do you get before you out <laughs> in california it's three strikes and you out so yeah, I don't know, bro, but this is wild. A lot of these people that be woofing, like, like that be the loudest or be, you know, not everybody that's aggressive be boo-boo because it's just some people out here that'll be aggressive and be extra out it, and they with the bullshit. Like, they, they get, they with it. But a lot of these people that be woofing and got that certain type of image and be like 30 years old and still trying to act extra out for some reason, I, I just don't be believing them, bro. Like, I don't want him to show me because I, I, I'm i not putting no energy like a, that out there. But I'm just saying, like, it, it'd be something, bro, because it was just some reason I couldn't get jiggy with O3 Greedo music. Besides the fact that it's kind of like, blah, 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 you could barely understand it. But I just it was just for some reason, it's like I'll be knowing when people is low key Gilligan's like I can smell it a mile away for real, like. I think this, I think I can smell it up to 7.4 miles away. I ain't even lying, Lo. Let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Go follow me on Instagram. 4% milk. F-O-E percent milk. All together.